Boulder, Colorado, is a haven for nature, lovers. There are over 31,000 acres of parkland, 200 miles of hiking and cycling trails, and world-class bouldering and rock climbing recreational areas for almost anyone to get lost in. While Boulder was once known as a hotbed of the late 1960s and early 1970s counterculture movement, it has come a long way since the days of flower power and hippie ideals. If you plan a trip to colorful Colorado soon, you must spend at least a few days in Boulder. In this video, we will show you some of our favorite places and activities in Boulder, Colorado. Go for a hike on one of Boulder's famous trails. If you visit Boulder without getting out into nature, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. When arriving in Boulder, the first thing on anyone's agenda is to go out and explore the Flatirons, the iconic mountain range that serves as the backdrop to this unique town. Chautauqua, a breathtakingly beautiful local park with a concert auditorium, a historic dining hall, and plenty of quaint rental cottages, is one of the best places to do that. Hike the trails, play disc golf, or enjoy the breathtaking mountain scenery while dining on the dining hall deck. But Chautauqua is one of many places in the Boulder area to enjoy the great outdoors. If you want to put your hiking boots to the test, the Boulder area has more than 180 scenic trails to choose from. One of the most highly rated trails is the Royal Arch Trail, just off Baseline Road. This breathtaking hike offers breathtaking views and allows hikers to get up close and personal with rock formations. Beautiful wildflowers and Colorado's diverse animal life the trail is 3.1 miles long and is classified as difficult. The best time to visit is between March and October, and if you're traveling with your four-legged companions, you are in luck because dogs are welcome to join you. Other notable trails in the area include Mount Sanitas and Sanitas Valley Loop Trails, the first and second Flatirons Loops, and the Green Mountain West Trail. Hey, if you have been enjoying this video, please like it and subscribe to Travel Pug if you have not already and stay tuned for even more of Boulder's best. Take a break at Pearl Street Mall. After a long day of working up a sweat and working those calves, you will have worked up quite an appetite. You might also be craving an ice cold adult beverage. The Pearl Street Mall is the hub of Boulder's dining, shopping, and bar scene. It is a lively four block pedestrian thoroughfare that runs directly through downtown, filled with food carts, talented street performers, and local art. Pearl Street is not only our favorite place in Boulder for people watching and our favorite restaurant in town. Pearl Street Pub and the West End Tavern are two of our favorite spots for a drink. And if you are craving some Tex-Mex, stop by Illegal Pete's for a burrito the size of your head. Explore the beautiful campus of the University of Colorado. Whether you are a student or a curious visitor, there is plenty to see and do at CU Boulder. Its sprawling campus is lushly landscaped, and a leisurely stroll around its grounds will provide plenty of opportunities to take photos. We highly recommend visiting the Fisk Planetarium, one of the country's largest planetariums. There are many interesting exhibits there. They host various events throughout the year, such as live theater productions, musical performances and workshops, interactive films, and laser light shows. They also have one of the most powerful telescopes in the region, and the planetarium staff is eager to show you some fascinating out-of-this-world sights like planets and constellations. The Mary Rippon Outdoor Theater, located within CU's Hellam's Arts and Sciences Building, is an excellent venue for live performances. It was built in 1939 and has since regularly presented a diverse range of plays to the public, hosting its annual Shakespearean festival every summer. This is also an excellent location for a picnic while admiring the architecture of the theater. The CU Heritage Center will provide an overview of the school's illustrious history. It is on the third floor of the old main building. There's also a display of lunar rocks collected by the Apollo 15 astronauts and memorabilia related to one of the school's most famous alumnus, Glenn Miller. Take a Boulder Brewery tour. Beer enthusiasts regard Boulder as a veritable mecca for their favorite beverage. A brewery tour is one of the absolute must-dos when visiting Boulder if you enjoy beer. Each brewery is distinct and offers a distinct selection of delectable menu options. For example, Avery Brewery, whose motto is Hops Freaks Unite, allows visitors to walk high up on a catwalk to witness the production process before tasting a sampling of their wares. 
Avery is one of the area's premier craft beer breweries, and their extensive selection of beers will leave you thirsty for more. Upslope is another brewery worth visiting on your tour. With over 20 beers on draft featuring a rotating selection of seasonal flavors, a large patio that allows guests to gaze out at the scenic Boulder countryside, and several food trucks parked out front, this brewery is ideal for spending a romantic evening out with your significant other, or simply a little solo time to get your beer on. Discover nature's wonders at Museum of Natural History. This massive brick structure houses a museum with over 4 million artifacts. Its collection ranges from algae to art to bats and fossils. They have a massive anthropology wing dedicated to pottery, artwork, and textiles, as well as the most extensive collection of beast specimens in the state. The museum is also great for attending a workshop or listening to a guest speaker's lecture. The amount of information available here is mind-boggling. It is suitable for adults and children, and they also provide self-guided tours and educational discovery kits to help you make the most of your visit. Tube Down, Boulder Creek. Taking a tube ride down Boulder Creek's rapids is one of the most thrilling things you can do. It is the ideal way to spend a hot summer afternoon, as the choppy waters provide an exhilarating adrenaline rush as you slip and slide down the bubbling creek. The best time of year to go tubing is between May and August, because those are the months when the water flows the fastest. We recommend visiting the Whitewater Tube Company, which rents tubes and provides a shuttle service to help adventurers get back to their vehicles after navigating the rapids. Hit the slopes. While visiting Boulder is enjoyable at any time of year, winter is especially appealing for those who enjoy snow sports, such as skiing and snowboarding. Boulder was even named the top winter town in the world by National Geographic a few years ago. One of our top picks is Eldora Mountain Ski Resort, only 20 miles from town. It has six-person chairlifts, a laid-back vibe, and is ideal for families. It does not matter if you are a beginner, an expert skier, or a snowboarder because there are slopes for all skill levels. Of course, they also provide rental equipment and have a couple of different dining options. The Lookout Cafe is at the top of the Corona Lift, while the Base Lodge has a decent-sized cafeteria. Upstairs, there is a bar and a few retail shops selling souvenirs, equipment, and accessories. Warm your bones at Boulder du Chambé Tea House. What better way to spend a chilly autumn or winter morning or afternoon than with a hot cup of tea? Boulder du Chambé Tea House is different from your typical tea house. It was handcrafted in Dushanbe, Tajikistan, and given to Boulder as a gift to commemorate the two city status as sister cities. While admiring the authentic Persian decor, sip a cup of finely crafted and curated tea, or eat a hot meal. It is your turn to share your thoughts now. Did we leave out any of your Boulder favorites? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Before you leave, please like this video and subscribe to Travel Pug if you have not already. To stay up to date on all of our latest content, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Bye.